so it's me your little boy kiss something so i have this video to give us you know two main particular thing you must surely who or do if you want to become successful as a christian you know many of us believe the fact that being a christian you ought not to be too to what to be great you ought not to be rich that is a sin if you focus on money it's a sin if you want to all your mindset is to become rich many of us believe that is a sin but the truth is this the richest man in entire world and nothing can change this is what is a christian is a believer which is called solomon despite of how people have become if if you if, if you see the richest man now in the world today and you read their history they are not up to the level of, of solomon and what does that mean and if you look at solomon solomon is not a lazy man his car is what his cattles you can name his farmland you can name his fa his portraits you can name his gold animals many things you can't do it you can't count them so what am i trying to say is this there are two categories of things that we must surely hold if we as a christian need to be what successful you know there's one of my mentor apostle I, uh, he said the word in one of his teaching he said if you want you can never be successful if you don't have something that you are doing whether you are a christian you are not a christian you can never be successful if you don't have anything you are doing in this world <laughs> look at how the economies is going now if you are expecting government to give you all you want that means you are waiting for failure to do or to cram you like a what like a garment that one does not need a a prayer or this you must surely work if you don't want to be a failure you know what I'm saying? Just look at it. If you sleep 24 hours, maybe today now someone called you, uh, like one of my friends that I called today, I said uh, I have a job that one of my friends is looking for workers. That one of my friends is looking for workers. So the guy was like, you know, tired and all those stuff. So I said, can't you don't know that? Uh, I, I decided to move. So when I was in the, at work, because I'm going back home now, so when I was at work, I called him, I said, I asked one of my friends, I said, did your friend go? He said, no, that he was waiting for the man for up. When I've already told him to do to expect, to wait for the man in junction. So they moved, they didn't carry the man. Oh, the, the guy. So you think about it. The guy missed the, what, the money today that he's supposed to put for his pocket. And other people will come back home now and meet him sleeping. So that is where it, do what, it all starts. But the, the truth is this. If you want to be successful, don't think how much you are going to end in a day. Just try to end something and know how to save. Because many of us believe that we must surely hold that po that which money was when we are busy, not doing nothing. So the truth is this, if you want to be successful, you really want to be successful, you must surely have something that you are doing. Believe me, whether you pray from here to Jerusalem and you don't have something that you are doing, you don't have this is my job, this is what I'm doing, you will end up also become broke. And which, which you we all know that our God is not a lazy word, a lazy man. If you look at the whole disciples of Christ, each of them have something that they are doing perfectly. And each of them, none of them that Christ meet without him finding them doing something. Think about Peter. Peter was a fisherman, a fisherman. Both all his brothers, John, Andrews. You know what I'm saying? So we must surely believe. And, and if you come to look, sorry for using this word like this. If you come to look the way the world is going, you come to figure out that unbelievers are what are more are more richer than what believers. And let me just be real with us. I know that many of us know it, but let's not just cover it. Unbelievers are what are becoming more successful than believers in terms of riches. Because the Bible said he will bless all. He will make us what worthy as our what as our father Abraham. You can say, so in other words, we must surely have something that we are doing. Even when God asked Abraham to leave his father, mother, he, Abraham, have already become what? A shepherd. So what I might try to say is this, brothers, we must surely have something we, we are doing, particularly as a believer. And two, we must do what? Have faith. 
Because the truth is it, faith without work is dead. We must surely have faith that what we are doing will surely come to do or to accomplish. If you are a businessman that all, your, all, your, all, all you hope for is that your business will not grow, your business will not multiply, nothing will come out from it, you will end up realizing that your faith will come to what actualize. But the moment you are working and you have that faith that one day where you are today is not where you are going to be, that is what, what, what God narrated. He said the little beginning may be small, but the latter end will expand. That means the little beginning simply Simply means you must have something that you are doing, which is going to do what expand. <coughs> I'm sure you are getting what I'm saying. But today, many of us believe the fact that we must be praying in Kubata, praying 24 hours, but yet come back and be what and be begging unbelievers for something to eat. <coughs> and you will see a lot of people giving what fake prophecy. Why? Because their pocket is empty. Yes, let me just be real. The reason why we have a lot of people who can come into your life and try to deceive yourself is because they have nothing in their pocket. You know what I'm saying? So we must surely have faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, an evidence of things not seen. So if you want to be fruitful, you must have faith and have something that you are, you are adequately and absolutely doing. So may God bless you. Remember blessed?